If you're a pet owner, then you probably have already said to your pet, you're the cutest animal in the world. Now don't get us wrong, we're not here to tell you they aren't, but what we are here for is to show you some of the world's cutest, exotic animals that you can actually own as pets. Get ready, because some of them you've never seen before, or if you have, you probably didn't know you could have them for a pet. Just be careful to hide from your pet while watching because they might get jealous with all the cuteness you're about to witness. Number one, a chinchilla. These shy animals are as cute as they are soft and affectionate, which is to say a lot. Chinchillas are known to become quite tame and also form a strong bond with their owners. Although if you try to cuddle them, they might become scared. Don't worry though, they can show you their affection with many other ways. Because they're nocturnal, they like a quiet place to rest during the day. But we think this is a very small price to pay in order to enjoy all this floof. Which, by the way, reminds us that we should tell you to try and keep them in a cool area of your house because they're very prone to overheating. Number two is the ferret. Ferrets have seen a massive rise in popularity in the past couple of years, and by looking at those adorable faces, it's not hard to understand why. But ferrets have more to them than their cute appearance. They can be amazingly playful and sociable, especially if they're properly handled and socialized from when they're young. And you can even train them to use a litter box just like a cat. If you want a low-maintenance pet, though, eh, ferrets might not be ideal for you because they need a lot of exercise during the day and they're a little bit mischievous, which, apart from hilarious video scenes you could make, might also be the reason why you can't have nice things in your house. Number three is an axolotl. Now, admit it, you never thought of a salamander as a cute animal, and even more so, you never thought of a salamander as an animal to keep as a pet. But Axolotl is here to prove that salamanders are misjudged and they're, in fact, extremely cute. They make for a surprisingly good choice to have as a beginner pet since caring for them is not really hard. They either eat frozen, freeze-dried, fresh blood worms, shrimp. They can even be fed with ground beef, and their tanks can be as small as 10 gallons although experts recommend getting a larger one for comfort. Of course, the most interesting thing about this species of salamander is how odd they looked and act. Imagine a baby dragon that has the cutest little yawn in the world. Number four is a daegu. Now, not sure if you really want a guinea pig or a hamster yet, well, then a daegu is a perfect for you, my friend, because look, they, they not only look like they came straight out of a fairy tale, but they are so extremely social. That's one reason it's recommended. And you should always get two, a male and a female, not one. And they're not nocturnal, which means they can keep you company during the day. But most importantly, they'll let you sleep at night. They can live in the same type of cage that a rat or a ferret does, and they play with the same kind of accessories. The only thing to keep in mind is much like a chinchilla, they need to take dust baths. Number five, the sugar glider. One reason experts say it explains why the internet is taken over by storm by the cute sugar glider is they have those big eyes that trigger people to think of them as a human baby. I don't know about all that, but I do know when we look at them, these little adorable things, all we want to do is squeeze them and kiss them. The sugar gliders are like a flying squirrel, and they have these thin membranes of skin on both sides of their body, and it does allow them to fly or glide short distances. But keep in mind, even though they're very affectionate and undeniably cute, they're also extremely messy and smelly because they have four scent glands for marking territory. Number six is the hedgehog. Now, who doesn't want a hedgehog as a pet? I mean, people who are afraid of needles, I can hear you say it, but wait a minute. I reply, don't you know you can teach them to accept being handled? Hedgehogs may not be as easy to keep as a pet, but all that cuteness will definitely reward you. And if you decide to open one up to your house and your heart, well, they require little attention, almost no grooming, and they're just about eight inches long. And because they're nocturnal, if you're a night owl, they're your perfect little friend to spend the night with. But if you're an early bird, you might want to steer clear from one of these little prickly balls of cuteness. You know what else can be extremely cute? The happy noises we make when you become one of our subscribers. So please, for the sake of all these little animals, do like the video, subscribe to the channel, and if you feel extra generous, turn on those notifications. Now back to our small friends. Number seven is the slow loris. 
The eyes, Chico, they sometimes lie. Slow loris is a super popular animal, mainly because of the huge eyes that look like they just dropped their ice cream on the street. But don't get tricked. As hard as it is, because the slow loris are actually not that easy to handle. Yeah, they'll reward your decision to adopt them every time you look in their eyes, but they'll also bite you, and they have a more dangerous secret under their arms. Their armpits secrete a dangerous venom, and to make matters worse, the slow loris licks them when they're grooming. But those eyes, damn it! Number eight is the capybara. Now, if you want to be the owner of the world's largest rodent, then look no further. Capybara is the one. Although they weigh up to 170 pounds, they're as cute and as friendly as any tiny animal, but they're a little harder to care for because of their size. They don't bite unless seriously provoked. They can warm up to their humans easily, and even if they're taken as adults and not babies, they'll do the same. A thing you have to keep in mind, though, is capybaras don't do very well on their own, so it's suggested you get a pair of them. Now you're talking 340 pounds, but don't worry, because apart from doubling the cuteness, you'll also have the chance to hear them talk to each other, as they tend to be very vocal with one another. Number nine is the wallaby. The tiny kangaroo look-alike is here to steal our hearts, and we'll gladly let it. <clears throat> uh, the wallaby, although, is not so common to have as an exotic pet. They're quite friendly and affectionate, more towards each other, but they're very suspicious to humans, mostly because they're not domesticated and cannot be house-trained. One thing you definitely want to keep in mind if you're thinking of owning this majestic animal is they use those back strong legs in self-defense, which means hard kicks are coming if they feel threatened. Number 10 is the serval cat. Now, although it is technically a cat, it's also an exotic pet. So yes, they do make the list. One thing that makes us fall absolutely head over heels for this animal is obviously their beauty and their cuteness. But as far as exotic pets go, serval cats probably should be on the bottom of the list as possible pets, and here's why. A, first, they're a wild animal. That means you have to create both a safe and warm space for them year round. And it's illegal to own one in many countries. They can be affectionate, but they're not especially friendly with kids or other pets. And they have a lot of exercise needs and tons of energy. That's a shame on one hand, but on the other, well, that's nature for you. You know, we've made it to the last video, and if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, now is the chance to smash that button and turn on your notifications to learn more about our newest top tens. Did you get her done? Then let's go. Number 11, our final video is the Fennec Fox. And if you've always dreamed of having a pet companion who can really listen to your problems, then the Fennec Fox is a perfect animal for you. They have the tiniest body and the biggest ears, and they squeak like the world's cutest little plush toy. And they're as playful as they are mischievous. I mean, they're foxes after all. Imagine like the perfect combination between a puppy and a kitty. And although you do have to feed them a little differently, a wild canid diet, if you want them to thrive and reach their actual life expectancy, which can go to 14 years in captivity. When they're adults, their length is 9 to 16 inches long, and they weigh from 1.5 to 3.5 pounds. We told you, they're tiny. Just don't be fooled by their size because they're extremely energetic and can and will get into everything. Well, there you have it for today, these top 11 cute exotic animals that you can actually own as pets. Now, which one from the list is your favorite, and which one would you actually consider getting for yourself? Tell us in the comments below, and don't forget, check our channel for more amazing top 10s every week. We'll see you next time.